Hello and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. Let's go and see if this trader has a reward for me for last time. I can't remember if you're allowed to hand in any old quests to the same copy of the trader. Like, this is Trader Bob. I'm technically supposed to hand in this quest to this Trader Bob, but can I do it to this Trader Bob? No, I can't. Okay. That's fine, because there could still be stuff to do around here. Two kilometers to the north. I need to do... Let me check this. I need to do... Three tier 5 infestations total, and then I need to do an additional two tier 4 infestations. Well, tier 4s in general would be fine. So, maybe I do just want to go out to those other ones and do those quests instead. And in the one I've done, do the other one and then do two tier 4s, and then I should have tier 5 complete. Which might give me something useful. So, I'm going to cycle over to the trader who... I actually need to give this to. I swear that used to work. In Alpha 19, that definitely used to work. I don't know if it worked in Alpha 20, and we can see that it doesn't work in Alpha 21. So I'll head over to the specific trader Bob that I have to. Alright, here we are, the other Bob. I need to buy a drink from him, apparently. Uh, let's just get some coffee. It's good for the cold. Barely, but it is. Hey, Bob. I will take those contact grenades. Do you have a tier 4 infestation? You do. I'll take that. So that would mean that I've got one more tier 5 and then this tier 4 and then one more tier 4 and then I would be able to do the, uh, then I would get the tier, whatever it is, complete. It might be worth going tier 4, tier 5, seeing that trader and then coming back around. So let's head on out there and see if I can get this done today. I doubt I'll get the other tier 4 I need to do today done. Today. But in this episode, almost definitely. Alright, here we are. This place is filled with books, so that'll be nice. Maybe I can get a couple of uh, vehicle adventures and make a bloody mini bike. There's a desk here. Tools Digest, nice. Now the bookcase here, home cooking, cool. Nobody has attacked me in here. Two tactical warfares. I don't think there's any reason to collect those anymore. I very much have the best machine gun you could physically get. I'm certainly not going to craft a better one than this. Hello. There's so many zombies around here. Oh, we're near the commercial part of the town, that'll be one. Listen, just because I can one-shot most of them with one headshot doesn't mean I want to. I like firing the gun. ahead. Make bellows, woohoo. Uh, tactical warfare, shotguns and armor, tools, some meds here. Oh, we want to go out here. Got a skill point. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just go for more iron gut. Like, I'm in fortitude because I want to use machine guns and because later on, I want to get living off the land, but right now I just don't really have anything to do because I'm also waiting for a cigar. I could save my skill points, but they're not very hard to come by anyway, so... If I really need something, I can always get a forget an elixir. Tools Digest. Anybody hiding in here? That answers that question. That's a lot of guys. Run away. He's gonna blow. Eat a first aid bandage really quickly. I'm cautious of that mountain line. Reload this. Yeah. 
Here we go. A level 1 pump shotgun, okay. Not gonna get my ammo back out of a tier 4 infestation, which I cleared with an M60, but it was fun, so it's fine. And I still got a bunch of shotgun shells. Metal chain mod, some ammo, one more vehicle adventures. Don't have any lockpicks on me, so I will just do this. Tools digest, some advanced mufflers, and some shit armor. Okay, let's head out to the next quest, which is still a while away, but it will be still quicker to do this. All right, here we are at the tier five infestation. Get around the front so I can start the quest. But I want to do my usual thing where I skip to the end of it first so I can use the loot I get to finish the rest of the PY. I've never done it with this PY though, I'm going to have to figure out how I want to get into the basement. I think this is the door I want. Does anything live in here? This is weird. Anyway, let's just try and break down this door. Anybody live in this? No, there's a key though. So if I come on to here, then down here, I certainly see enough zombies. I just do that and wake them all up. Will they come to the ladder? Oh, yeah, definitely. Let's head outside. Let me get a contact grenade. Oh, my audio cut out entirely. There's still a dog down here. There we go. Uh, so the infested cache is here with a dart trap bundle, which is basically just a load of iron, but plenty of ammo. Tools digest. I can make augers at level one. Farming. And let's bash open the chest. Two tools digest, a treasure map, some stuff. Right now, let's clear this the normal way. Then I don't have to worry about the scary room. Digest. No, oh, st the stairs broke. Why did the stairs break? Did the cop break them? Did he punch them? Because he didn't pop. Do that. Oh, you're going to be annoying back there. Oh, they're behind me. There's a radiated biker. Run away. Take this outside. Fucking radiated biker, really? What a shitty room. Oh, not an abrasion, that's the worst. Take a first aid kit to heal it quicker. I'm gonna go hunt down that screamer. I think she got a scream off. Up to the roof we go. Oh, there's a radiated biker. Love that. Ow. I'm not letting that biker hit me, goddammit. Just the worst. Let me eat a bandage. Seriously, fucking two of them. Oh, 
get them with a shotgun stun so they can't fucking sprint at me. Yeah, like that. Fucking die. Uh, let's see. More iron gun. Okay. On the last few rooms here. And there's another fucking battle bike. Would you just fucking die? Yeah, we're done. That's good at least. Alright, let's go and see the last trader up here. And then we'll go hand in those two quests. And I'll see if I can take another one, but I doubt I'm going to get it done or be able to hand it in today. Hey, Jen. I'm starting to think you like Telling anything good? Eh, bandages. Otherwise, eh, custom things I'll take as well. Otherwise, no. Right, let's go and hand in these quests and see what I can get. Piss off, direwolf. Alright, here's the first trader, Bob. Okay, another M60. Chainsaw, mining helmet, contact grenades. So the thing about chainsaws is I'm not going to use them in this series because I have absolutely no access to gasoline outside of the traders. So using a chainsaw is just a very ineffective way to get wood or break wooden things. I don't need a level 5 machine gun again, so I'll just take the contact grenades. He has a very close by tier 4 that I could do tomorrow. Yeah, I'll do the Judy Witch again. And I'll just do that for the sake of getting the quest done, or the quest tiers done quickly, rather than trying to get a good reward or good uh, cash at the end. So let's go hand in the reward for the other infestation I did, and then I'll come back out here in the morning. In time for the morning, basically. I'll do the quest, and then I'll hand it in to Trader Bob as soon as possible, and then one of the other... Trader Bobs will have access to tier 6s if I wanted them. I think for tier 6 complete, the smartest thing to do is just tier 5 infestations as much as possible. It'll take you 8 tier 5s and then another quest of some kind, like a tier 2 I think, because it's 42 points, right? 6 times 7, that is 42. Divide that by 5, you've got 8 plus a leftover 2 points, so you could do 8 tier 5s and a tier 2. I'll probably just go for 9 tier 5s though, but that'll take a few days to get through, definitely. You could also do 10 tier 4s and then a tier 2. That would also be pretty quick, but I think I'll just do the tier 5s for the easy ammo and the good rewards. Alright, other Bob, give me my other reward. Level 6 Ratchet? I will take that. I don't really need it, but I'll take it. He has a tier 5 infestation as well, which I'll just grab because why not? Alright, so I'm going to go home. And I'll put my loot away, and in the morning we will finish up tier 5. Hopefully I'll get something decent for it. Alright, here we are at the Judy Witch PY. If we can get this done quickly, we can get on to tier 5, or tier 6 I suppose, uh, quickly. I'm going to do the same thing I did for the infestation, even though it's not anywhere near as useful. Uh, just because I like getting the end loot first. Now let's pistol them off. Let's get back up here. They may actually go the shorter way. Oh, hello. Where the hell did you guys come from? Clear out this area this time as well. ammo, some meds. Let's try this chest. Uh, a banded armor plate's good. A level 6 AK isn't exactly going to compete with my gun, but I'll take the rest of that stuff. A banded armor plate, I don't know if I have a slot for that. That'll do. There's 2% more damage resistance, up to 60... just under 68. Okay, let's finish the rest of this POI. 
can never make meat stews great. There's another skill point. I'll take... Yeah, you know what? Let's just start getting living off the land. I don't need it, but I don't really need anything right now, so it doesn't really matter. There we go. We're clear. Let's go finish tier 5. Assuming my math was right. Either way, I have time to fix that mistake pretty easily. Vader's not even open yet. Yep. That was very well timed. Hey, Bob. I'll take a steel axe. Ooh, steel armor bonus bundle. Yep, that would do it. <laughs> Give me that. So this should all be much better than what I have, except for the gloves. The gloves I already have steel of, but seems like overwhelmingly that's going to be a big armor boost. Up to 77 right now, and I don't even have any of the plates put back on. Then with all that on, I'm up to 83% damage resistance. That's pretty damn good. And 83% mobility too. Which isn't fantastic, but it can be improved with customized fittings and the heavy armor perk that I'll get once I end up with a cigar to level up my strength for me. Okay, so tier 5 is officially done. And I have amazing armor, amazing guns. The only thing I really need is a level something or other auto shotgun, and then I'll be like good. It's <laughs> day 12. Um. Do you have any jobs? You're just tier 5s, but that's not necessarily a problem, because I want to do invested clears anyway, so let's do that. Pass and guess. I think, if it is the one I'm thinking of, that'll be a really easy one to get to the loot first, which is always nice. I like easy loot. So let's head over there. And I would need to do basically 9 tier 5 infestations to get tier 6 complete. Really, I need to do eight and then do like a tier two but i'm just not gonna waste my time with a tier two so nine which would mean if i could get three done today three done the day after and, and three done the day after that then i could find myself tier six complete on like day 15 which would be very nice i imagine horde night will get in the way somehow and probably delay that a little bit hey there's no rush i'm already massively ahead of the game in terms of my progression game stage 126 day 12 I mean, it's day 12, but I have the gear of someone who's probably game stage 126 in the forest biome, so it kind of works. Start that. And then I'm going to skip up onto the roof, because that's where the end loot is. Who else did I piss off that's down there? Did I annoy the people in the... No, it looks like I did. Eh, they're not an issue. Let's go to the end loop. Just around this corner here. I'm expecting like three dogs here though. A radiated cop. So mean. Ow. Ugh. That was a nice combo for them. Oh, you know what, I'm falling off the roof. Come on, follow me down here. Well, that was a sign you just killed. He has no respect for advertising. Hello. Oh, I'm out of ammo in that, okay. Let me take a quick first aid kit to heal the abrasion faster and just get loads of health. completely destroyed this area. 
All right, well, let's turn on this button. Hey, it's off. Hey, loot bag. Some food and ammo. Right, back onto the roof. Give me my loot. Shotgun turret bundle, loads of shotgun ammo, plus loads of actual, just normal ammo. Um, shitty steel boots, some custom things though. Tools digest and a useful schematic. Let's put those custom things on something just to get my mobility up. So now we're up to 86% mobility. If we can find a couple more of those, we'll probably hit 90 and then we'll need heavy armor to get it much above that. Tools digest, tools digest. And another tools digest. Right, let's clear out the rest of the zombies in this place. Did I get any medicine there? No. An infection's a minor issue. Loot. Are these guys not going to spawn in? Or do I have to do this a weird way? Game's weird. There's meds up here. Wiring 101. Tools digest. So I'm guessing all the other rooms are going to be pissy like that as well, so I'm just going to go through it the normal way now. So I don't miss anybody. Have I got any antibiotics in here? I've got honey, that'll do. Anyway, let's continue. Another tool digest there. He's like glitching forward when I stagger him. I hate it. Run away! Oh really? You're stuck on that? Fucking radiated lumberjack, really? There wasn't enough health points between the rest of you. We'll get a forge ahead here. There we go. I'll just go back down, fuck it. It's off, cop. Anybody spawn out here? I don't even fucking remember at this point. So I've been in this room, but I think I have to go through that door to actually make them spawn. Radiated biker. Why do you hate me? So many of them! So much health. Why is there a dot here? Someone's supposed to spawn that I've missed? Ugh. Oh, triple armor pocket mode, nice. Here we go, I've maxed out my armor. Or my storage. So, the yellow marker being somewhere random usually indicates that there's a zombie who left the area. Who is technically supposed to be marked. So I will just kill a bunch of zombies around the area and see if it was any of them. Okay, nothing so far, but there might be a couple of zombies lying around that I've missed. Anybody here? No. Uh, maybe I need to go through that back door here, this way, for something to spawn down there. Why is the game like this? Uh, 
everybody hiding up here still. Sometimes they reset. Oh, this is just really annoying. Let me do one last run through the entire PY and see if I've missed any triggers. No, it doesn't look like any of the triggers aren't activated. There's just a zombie who disappeared. If I leave the game to try and like reset it, the quest resets and I lose my progress and I have to do it again. Which is just fucking annoying. Try in here. It never usually makes you do these kinds of areas. Even if there is any zombies in here. Just to be sure. Fucking pain in the ass. Forge head, machine gunner. It's nice at least. Yeah, otherwise this doesn't seem to be working. Hey, there's a businessman. Maybe it's him. Nope. If it is a zombie who wandered out, they've gone very, very far because I cannot see them. I've killed many. And none of the ways of entering this trigger seem to be working. Maybe fall in? Does that not happen here? Try this, maybe? No. Every day this game finds new and innovative ways to piss me off. Except this isn't really new. This is actually kind of old. Wasn't her. Well, shit. I mean, I got my ammo from it so i don't really care that much but that's a failed quest because the game is being a bitch could wait until the morning of the next day and all the zombies that are like missing would be put back into their places not like the dead ones but the ones that are like missing usually get reset at midnight i'm just not gonna wait that long for that i don't care i'm gonna cycle home and i'm gonna do some inventory work i don't feel like doing quests today when the game doesn't feel like me doing them either which is a hell of a sentence i'm sure you'll agree Fuck that newsstand. So, I'm gonna cycle home. Alright, we're back at base. And you know what I want? I want a drum magazine. So that's what I'm gonna try and make. There we go. That's all I need. I'll make two of them, because I know I'm gonna need one later. Let's also make a laser sight, and... What other mods do I need for the M60? I probably want a foregrip, right? I can get that. I just need a little bit of springs and forged iron. And glue, which I already have crafting here. That's all the glue I'll have, though, but hey, it's something. I actually need to find more bones, so maybe I should start carrying a knife with me. Just so I actually remember to get in the various things in the world. There we go, add the foregrip. And that's all going to take until the morning to craft, probably. So I am going to end the episode here. In the morning we'll have all those attachments and we'll get back on to doing tier 5 infestations to get tier 6 complete to hopefully get an auto shotgun. Let me know if you're still enjoying the series, and in the meantime, special thank you to my members and patrons. If you want to become one of those, there are links in the description to do so. If you enjoyed this video, why not check out another one? I would recommend the one on the top right. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.